Hey guys, back with another YouTube video. Today it's going to be a showing off video. Now I just bought a small box and two big tools for 20 bucks off a guy on Facebook, a very nice gentleman. Gave me all these tools for 20 bucks, so let's go ahead and see what I got. And a lot of these are going to be posted for sale. Some of these I'm going to be keeping, but a lot of it's going to be for sale at the same time. First thing I'll show off is this belt sander made by... I forgot what that brand is called. If it works, I'll probably turn around and sell it because I've already got a belt sander like this, but I might take the bag off of it and put it on my other one. So there's that. I'll look it up to see if it's worth later. And then we got a Mac, however you say that, drill. Some kind of drill I've never seen. I'll look it up, see what it's worth, and if it works, I'll turn around and sell it. And then the biggest the biggest part is this pizza box full of stuff. Ugh. Get that on my lap. First thing I'll take out is the bag that's in it, and it's full. Be focused on that stuff in a minute. Let's see what's in the bag. Something saying Daniel's drill bits. Well, Daniel the Scott has just sold his drill bits. Oh, that's kind of a bum. Most of them are in there, but a lot of them ain't, so I'll probably keep this set and reuse it. Next is a long, long screwdriver. I'll probably clean that up and keep it. Next, a simple set of pliers. I've already got a pair of these. So I think what I'll do is take the grips and get rid of the rusted pliers. Next is a weird set of pliers. Don't know what those would be for. Next is what looks like a tent stake that someone tied off and then cut off. Probably keep the stake and throw away the string. Next, this is a uh, oh, this is a uh, wood turning tool. Hey, it's made by Craftsman, so that should probably sell really well. So this will be put for sale. This is an old hand saw made by Stanley. I'll probably keep this, take the take the blade out and put a new blade in it. So that's gonna keep that's gonna be kept. Next, a tire punch. I've got a hundred of these, so this is just gonna be scrapped. Next, another giant flathead. I've already got one like this, so this one's gonna be scrapped. This one, no name. I'll clean them up, see if I can find a name on them. And if not, I'll probably just throw them away. Next, this looks like a piece to a... a uh, looks like a channel lock tool where you crank it down and it goes down. So that I might keep and see if I can make some knives out of it or make a guard out of it. Next, another weird tool. It's the same. It says it's a thing on it. Some kind of weird tool. Don't know what this is. This will be just put for sale then. No name. This is probably the screwdriver that goes with this. But I've got hundreds of these screwdrivers, so this will be scrapped. Next, a screwdriver piece with a busted end. No brand, so this will probably just be scrapped off. A cheap husky wrench. A big pair of pliers. I'll clean these up, see if I can get a brand off of them. Uh, next, a Stanley ratchet tool. Still works. That I'll probably clean up myself. Next is another, this is another in exchange screwdriver. This one I'll probably turn around and sell too. Uh, some kind of grinder wrench. That'll be scrapped. And some other kind of tool. Weird. So that'll probably just get sold off. See what's in the pockets. Nothing in that pocket. Nothing in that pocket. Nothing in that pocket. Never hurts to be sure. Nothing in that pocket. The bag itself, I should easily be able to sell. 
So the bag, I'll probably just turn around and resell, depending. I'll wash it, see if it comes out really good. And if it does, then I might just keep it for myself. So that one I don't know of yet. Next is the box. Versus the handsaw. That I'll just chop up, throw away the blade, and reuse this part, because I could definitely reuse that. Next is some circular saw blades. I definitely needed these. These I make my tomahawks out of. That'll be great to have. Next, a cheap little grease gun. No brand. This will probably just get thrown in the scrap pile. Next, a cobalt saw. I'll look up what this is worth and probably turn around and sell it. I don't need another saw. Ah, a couple of rat tail files. I'll clean these up, see if, that, see if they still work, and if they do, then I'll keep them. Next, a pair of tin snips. Made in the United States. I might keep these, I might not, I don't know yet. Another metal file. Come on. Yep, Simpson steel. That'll make a good knife. Next, another file. Too rusted to tell, but it'll make a good knife. Next, a little ruler. I'll cut a piece off and test it to see if it's one of the metal ones or one of the aluminum ones. And if it's one of the aluminum ones, then I'll probably just throw it away because I got plenty of aluminum bar stock. Next, a plastic, plastic ruler. I'll probably throw this away. Don't need it. What's this thing? This is a... This looks like a Stanley Wood... Wood... Uh, Thing, a wood thing that you, uh, I forgot what it's called. I think it's a wood grass. That you move it this way and it shaves the wood down. This will probably be put for sale. Next, another little cheapo screwdriver. This will be put for, this will be thrown and put for sale with a bundle. Overall, I think I'll still, I'll get twice my money. I could probably sell that belt sander for 20 bucks and get another 10 out of that drill if it works. And the rest of these miscellaneous tools, I'll probably just either sell or throw away. I'll look at this saw, see if it's worth anything. Uh, overall, it was a nice little purchase. I mean, 20 bucks, can't really beat that, so. But anyway, yeah, so uh, you know what I'm selling, what I'm keeping. I guess I'll end the video here, and as always, stay sharp.